Hello, my crafty friends. I'm just going to do a little bit of um, playing with some, well, they're not new art supplies. I've actually had them both for quite a while. I just never got them out and used them. Um, I can't even remember exactly where I got this, uh, this cutter, but it says it's a precision cutter. Cutter de precision. Micro ceramic blade. A uh, non-slip finish, and it is. It's kind of covered in silicone or something. Um, it says the micro ceramic blade is safer than craft knives, stays sharp ten times longer than steel, and never rusts. Ideal for intricate shapes for right or left-handed people. And if any of you happen to be left-handed, you know that very few things are actually made for left-handed people that really work well. <laughs> If you live in a right-handed world, you've learned how to use right-handed things, and things made for left-handed people don't always work. But this is for anybody, so we're going to play with that. And then way back in November, I paid, uh, I made an order from the uh, Wish. Um, I saw people ordering from Wish, and so I decided they had these Delusions um, white and black paint pens. And I don't remember what I paid for them, but it wasn't much or I wouldn't have ordered them. Because <laughs> I was kind of iffy about how I felt about that company that I didn't know much about. But anyway, I got those, but I never opened them and used them. So here's two things I'm going to play with today. And these are some of the stuff I did in my watercolor experiment um, video. And so we're going to doodle on these with those pins in just a minute. But first, I want to talk about this little cutter. Um, I think you're supposed to use it kind of like you do a pencil, and I've done a little bit of playing with this image and with this image, um, and it's not, well, I'm not a terribly wonderful fussy cutter anyway, and so, you know, somebody who can fussy cut really well with a pair of scissors, um, you know, I don't, this might, they might be better at this than I am, or they might hate it, I don't know. But, um, but I'm just going to kind of go, one thing I've found out over the years is that I'm always kind of heavy handed. I push down too hard on a pencil when I'm, um, let's get rid of this first here, just to get that off. I always push down too hard with my pencil and or my pen and my hand was always tired. I remember in school how tired my hands always were because of that. Um, and I'm afraid that this is, looks really fragile, and I'm afraid I might ruin it by pressing down too hard. So I'm trying very hard to um, to cut very lightly on this picture of Houdini here. Um, it is, I think, faster than the knife fussy cut with a knife for sure, but um, I'm not sure I have the same amount of control with this that I would with scissors. Scissors is what I meant. I, said, I think I said knife a minute ago. Okay, see, I just about cut off the part of his shirt because it's hard to see in this black and white image. Where is shirt is and where is just image? I mean, just the white background. Let's see if we can get it. Anyway, I, th I think it works pretty well. Um, probably about the time it gets really dull, I will have it down and I'll know how to use it. I think part of my problem with it is that I'm a little bit afraid I'm going to mess something up. So I'm pressing down a little too hard. And that, because um, see, that, that works a lot better than what I've done previously. So it's probably like anything else. It just takes some practice getting used to. Um, and they probably sell these on Amazon. I don't know. I haven't even looked for them. I found this at a store somewhere, just one of those things where they hang stuff up, you know, and you just pull one off. Well, it was like that. And I thought, well, I'll just try this. Um, 
but I don't know. I'll try to look on Amazon, and if I can find it on Amazon, I'll include a link to it under my video. Um, so you can go look down there and see if you can find it. Um, but if I don't find it at Amazon, there won't be a link. But at least you'll know you can't get it there, I guess, if you don't see a link. And no, I really don't think that is part of his shirt. I think that is just part of the background. And therefore, it's okay if I cut it off. That's not perfect, but it sure is. It is easier on my hand than the scissors. I have troubles with my wrist. Um, I have a ganglion cyst right here that um, if I do too much fussy cutting, it acts up on me. If I don't do a lot of that kind of thing or a lot of spinning, <laughs> yarn spinning, um, it doesn't usually bother me too much, but if this will work for me, it will definitely save my wrist from fussy cutting issues. So, um, so I think I like that. I think I think that would be a, a yes thing that that would be handy to have. I definitely don't think it's essential you can do the same thing with scissors and an exacto knife you know but getting in like this is a lot easier than trying to get scissors through there um anyway i think i paid about nine eight or nine dollars for it and i i know i would not have done that if it hadn't said it lasts 10 times longer so i thought okay that's a knife and 10 blades and um so I decided that I would go ahead and <laughs> I would go ahead and try it out. Um, so we'll see how long it lasts and how good it is in the future. The other thing I wanted to do was play with these, and um, if I can, I like to open things without messing up the board, you know, because I'm a mixed media person, and I might use it to make a tag or a bookmark or something. So we'll just say that. These are um, Delusions paint pens. And um, I was going to see if it tells me I need to do something. I don't see anything, but it does have a shaker ball in there, so I'm going to assume you need to shake it. We'll do the same with the white one. And then we will play a little bit. I'm going to start with this one because I kind of have an idea of what I want to do with it a little bit. Let's see. Hmm. All right, let me get this packaging back out and read. See if I missed something here. Delusions paint pens are perfect for journaling, writing, and doodling in the Delusions, creative journaling, packs, and more. To use, shake the pen so mixing ball rattles and paint is mixed. To establish initial flow, press nib down gently on a piece of scrap paper and hold until paint flows into the nib. Repeat as needed. Okay, well, that's what I was doing. So we'll shake it again here. And let's. I'm not having much luck with the paint flowing. <laughs> okay, let's see what happens now. We're going to start by kind of outlining this little tree here. And 
and I don't know, you know, I'm not the best doodler on the block, so I'm just going to play a little bit. Okay, um, let's do this one. Well, the paint does flow out of this pretty good, though. I'll say that. Better than some other paint pens I've used. I'm going to make some thicker places. Go ahead and kind of oh, let's get the paint to flow again here. I'm going to do some little outlining. And then Let's just draw some lines. I was going to end up smudging it by putting my hand over that first one we did, but it didn't. I'm surprised, so it must dry faster than I was expecting it to. That's a good sign. See if we can go back in and put a few. Oop. Didn't get up again. Put a few smaller lines. I don't think I want to do that everywhere, just a few places. couple more in here though. Hmm. You do need to remember to once again I'm see how this is a much finer line because I'm not pressing down. I'm having to make myself remember not to press down. And it will work if you don't press down, people. Don't, <laughs> don't, don't do what I do. Okay, let's just draw some flowers on this tree. <laughs>
there. Just scroll on up. Time it again. I always feel like <laughs> it's really hard to make something random and I always want these to look random and it feels like they rarely ever really end up looking like they're random. That's not bad. I'm just playing. Like I said, I don't. Um, <laughs> uh, I didn't keep making the circles from the middle because I didn't want it to look like a spider web. So I come from the outside and it ends up looking more like a spider web because of that. Well, good grief. Uh, let's just go with it. Let's just go with it. <laughs> oh, how funny. Spiders do weave beautiful webs, but I didn't really want a spider web tree. <laughs> oh. One more, and then we'll see if we can add some flat on there. Hmm. It's hard to decide when you're just sitting here what, what kind of things you might want to do.
Okay, let's just go ahead and fill in this part here. I'll put some black dots on it in a second. Okay. I think that's an okay pen. I'm not going I'm not disappointed with it. Especially for the two or three dollars I paid for it. I think I basically paid shipping. Let's see what we think about the white one. I don't know if it's better to press down a bunch of little ones or one long one. Let's lay back on and shake it again a little bit more. Okay. I'm going to be patient this time. I'm just going to sit here. Be patient. Be patient. It's not easy for me to do. Okay, there we go. Okay. Let's add some. black dots. It is pretty precise. I like that. Okay, can you see the white dots? We'll do some on this one. Not sure if that's not working because that black didn't dry yet or the white's just not as thick as we want it to be. Try outlining some of these. Just a few of the little ones to make them lighter. It's actually inlining, I guess. <laughs> um, going inside the black lines rather than spread and make these a little bit brighter. I don't want to go ahead and do this thicker one because I drift on it. I think that if you do something bigger, it's not as good as just little dots. All right, let's see if we can draw a few lines on this one. See, it's not wanting to draw lines. Okay, let's try again. The black one definitely, I think, works better than the white one. 
That's why we're always on the outlook for good flat pins. funny on this one it just looks like I kind of erased some of the black rather than actually looking like there's white on there so it we do have to kind of think about probably have to come back and go over Um, like here back over the black because I kind of messed it up with the white went around that tree again let's go back over here and see if we can get the white to work better there we go a little bit better Okay, so I like the black one pretty well. Not as excited about the white one, but I have definitely used worse. So um, that's kind of the doodling I came up with on that one. It's cute. Not anything real special, but it's cute. And it's, it was fun to do. Um, I've got some more here, but I don't have any real ideas or what I want to do on them like I did that one. I knew I wanted to make that one into little trees. Um, I don't know about these. So I think I'm going to just call it good. And um, my opinion is this is handy. And let, if you um, you know have wrist issues and you want to fussy cut, I think this would be a good deal. The Precision Cutter by Slice. And the Delusions Paint Pens, are they're okay. Um, there are black ones better than the white one, in my opinion. Alrighty. Thank you much for watching. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and God bless you all. Bye-bye, my friends.